Okay, uh, this is page 310, number 1i. I'll give you a hand with this one. Uh, we're going to find eigenvalues and then the eigenvectors. The eigenvectors for the eigenvalues make up the eigenspaces. So I'll elaborate on those uh, terms at the end. Uh, all right, the first step is to find the eigenvalues. That is found by using this equation here. Determinant of a minus lambda equals zero. So you can't do anything with the eigenspaces or eigenvectors until you have the eigenvalues. So let's get that first. The determinant of a minus lambda i is I take this a, then I subtract off this lambda i. And you can see that the, uh, the only thing that really changes is you get a lambda subtracted from the diagonal elements. All the rest stays the same. So this is equal to uh, 4 minus lambda negative 5, 1, 1, 0 minus lambda, uh, negative 1, 0, 1, negative 1 minus lambda. And this is the determinant that I need to take. I'm not going to do any row reduction for this because the lambdas make it much more complicated. So I'm just going to go ahead. Now what I want to do is I want to pick a row or a column that has as many zeros as possible. I have two candidates, this row or this column. I personally am going to pick the column. Okay? So this is equal to 4 minus lambda times the determinant of what I have left when I remove this row or this column with this row. So I have this block left. Negative lambda, negative 1, 1, negative 1 minus lambda. And then the next term is this 1 here. So it's minus 1. The reason it's minus 1 is in this slot here. This is the a to 1. So in my cofactor, I have that negative, uh, negative 1 to the i plus j. This is an odd place, so I get a minus there. OK, what do I have left when I cross this off? that off, I have this negative 5, 1, and I have 1, and then negative 1 minus lambda. Okay, let's calculate these things. This one here is 4 minus lambda times, I have, I'm going to, these negatives all cancel, so this times this is lambda times 1 plus lambda. When I do this, the negatives all cancel. And then plus 1. It's minus a negative 1 coming back, so I get a plus 1. Okay, then the next term is minus. Again, the negatives all cancel, so this is the same as 5 times 1 plus lambda minus 1. Okay, so let's clean this up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to rewrite that. This one, I'm going to leave the 4 minus lambda out for a minute. Uh, inside there, I have uh, lambda squared plus lambda plus uh, 1. And then from here, I have minus 5. I have a minus 5 and a... Uh, or 5 minus 1, which is 4, so I have a negative 4. And I have a negative 5 lambda. Okay, let's multiply these out. Just be careful with this. Just take the 4 and multiply by each thing, and take the negative lambda and multiply by each thing. So this is 4 lambda squared plus 4 lambda plus 4 minus lambda cubed, minus lambda squared, minus lambda, minus 4, minus 5, lambda. Okay, so let's, let's uh, combine the terms. This 4 and this negative 4 cancel. I have a negative lambda cubed here. Uh, I have a 4 lambda squared and a negative lambda squared, so that makes 3 lambda squared.
squared then I have a 4 lambda and a minus lambda and a minus 5 lambda so that makes negative 2 lambda remember that what we're doing is we're setting this determinant equal to 0 so we'll take this and set this equal to 0 you might prefer to have the leading term have a positive, so let's bring everything over to the other side. And now let's solve. Every term here has a lambda in it, so let's factor that out. Lambda times lambda squared minus 3 lambda plus 2. So what we get is lambda times lambda minus 2 times lambda minus 1 equals 0. So from that last step here, you can see that we have three values of lambda. Lambda equals 0, lambda equals 1, and lambda equals 2. Okay, those are our three values. Three values of lambda. Okay, so now we've basically done this. Now what we have to do is for each value of lambda, we have to go and solve this for the vector. Okay? And the vector is the eigenspace. So that they're interchangeable in this case. Okay. So I'm going to erase and we're going to start finding uh, the different values of the eigenvectors. 